Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and Nick up there. He's going to help us out with this 23 box Grand Slam baseball mix. This is a grand mixer, ladies and gentlemen. Complete with this Wander Franco 9510 giveaway. Woo! What does this go for on a secondary market, Nick? Thousand bucks? Woo! That is nice, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, well, we got a lot to do, so let's get to business. There's the giveaway. So that'll be in a separate dice roll at the very end of the break. There's all the boxes right there. And I'm going to, you can see the Nick cam up there as well. I'm going to hand some of these heavier boxes to Nick. All right, we've got a lot going on here. And he's going to get us started on that while we do the randomizer. There you go. You can see it all on the camera right there. So thank you. Let's flip back here. Congrats and good luck. Oh, no. Congrats and good luck too. I got so excited about this break. Congrats and good luck to all these folks right here. Yay. All right, so there's all the people who bought their spots straight up. We really appreciate that. And we only had to do two mini breaks to get into this. Update 14 and Inception 22. So those are the winners right there. So thanks to, or congrats to uh, the winners. And thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. All 30 baseball teams are in. And let's actually get this spreadsheet filled out too. I was just so eager to start the break. So this is Jaspi's 23 box Grand Slam baseball mixer. All right, so let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a three, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four. And eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Jeff, last spot Mojo, last spot Bot straight up, Dorlak down to Dustin Colley in the 30 spot. Eight times for the teams. Two, three. Seven and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got we've got my Dodgers on top all the way down to the Twins in the 30 spot. All right, so Jeff Dorlek with the Dodgers, Bill with the Diamondbacks, Jimmy Brandt with the Blue Jays, Tommy with the Rangers, Trevor with the Angels, Sean with the Nats, Darren with the Tigers, Matthew with the Yankees, Joel with the Marlins, Darren with the Brew Crew, Zach with the Mets, Jamie with the Mariners, Edwin with the Orioles, Mark with the Cubs, Ryan with the Indians, Jason with the Royals, Kevin with the Pirates, Travis with the Rockies, Will with the Red Sox, Dom, you got the Astros, Chance with the Reds, James with the Giants, Chad with the Braves, Corey with the Padres, Angelo, you have the Cardinals, Mike McCarthy, A's, Jamie, White Sox, Zach, Rays, Mike McCarthy, Phillies, and Dustin with the Minnesota Twins. Bill thinks... Bill, you have the last. All right, let me double check that. Six this, this is this is this is pretty important. Sort by column B. And if you need to see your teams again on the screen, let me know. Last spot mojo was officially Jeff Dorlack. Two hours ago, 2.53 p.m. Pacific. Bill, your order was 1.42 Pacific. Sorry, Jeff has that mojo, I'm afraid.
Got some fueled up on the water. You know what? That's what we must have done then. We must have popped some spots back in and canceled a mini break. All right, so we got a lot of trade chatter here. What's going on here? We've got Cleveland up for trade, Minnesota up for trade, Mets, Cardinals, Brewers, Diamondbacks. Astro, Astros, Mets, Cardinals, Rangers, Brewers, Twins. A lot of trade chatter here, ladies and gentlemen. We got maybe Cardinals, Brewers, perhaps? H, oh, right. Angela Trinidad, so that's Atrin, all right. Maybe Mets for Dodgers? No thanks on the Cardinals, says Darren. Zach does. Jeff. Zach wants to trade you the Mets. For the Dodgers. Dom still has the Strohs up for trade. Maybe Rangers, Dodgers, perhaps? Tick, tick. Tick, tick. Rangers, Astros, maybe? No, says Dom. Yankees for, I don't know if Matt Shear is in here. All right, trade window going once. A lot of trade chatter, but it looks like no deals are getting done. Trade window going twice. And trade window closed, TWC. A lot of trade chatter, but no deals were done. All right, well, let's print, let's rip. Oh, okay. Maybe... Oh, yeah, no. All right, what should I start with? What's, what's fun here? What's this? Series one. That's 2016. Series one hobby. Optic. Hobby. And hair heritage. And Harry Taj. All right. There you go. And we'll have some more stuff popped open for us. Let's start with this right here. Clayton Kershaw. Nice. Got a Gavin Lux right here, too. Nice. So I'm going to actually sleeve all of these. These are from the silver pack in the Series 1. Here is the final printout right here, just to show you once again. 23 box ransom mixer on a Wednesday. Thanks everyone. All right, good luck. That felt different on the back. 16 out of 99 on that. 
has sort of a matte finish on the back. Vintage card back. Vintage card back is the technical name for it. I forget where the where the parallels fall on this after the foil card. It's kind of random. All right. Kind of nice dude. That Gavin Lux was pretty nice for the Dodgers. Let's see if we can find like a Bo Bichette in here. Oh, 2013 select, no! I don't even know what... What shape is that? I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a rhombus? Well, it's four. So it's a, it's a rectangle of but some look sort. Look at this. Look at it like this. It's uh, what do they call the diamond? No, uh, yeah, the, the, a, a rhombus maybe. I think it might be a rhombus. One eighty. Ooh, thank you. Those are rare now. I didn't go to college. I don't know. Did you learn that stuff there? Yeah, they they teach you shapes in college. It's one of the first things you do. All right, and you have just received a relic card of the Man of Steel. Nice. Oakland A's. Who's got the A's? Mike McCarthy got randomized the A's. He got this uh, He got this team randomized to him from a spot that he won. Nice. Now... We are booked for a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, if you see the schedule in the chat. So if you want to do personal breaks with Jason, I think he still has, I think he's still not all the way booked yet. So join him on the Instagram live stream. I start with the football mixer? You go there. I think so, yeah. The, I think that basketball mixer is pretty close too. It's, like a, it's a mixer night. All three sold out pretty quickly, or got close to selling out pretty quickly. And I'll try to remember to do a, a auto and relic recap at the end of this break. It's Alex Verdugo. At least one Boba Shet. I want to slide out of there. It's a facsimile autograph, in case you were wondering. There's a Gavin Lux. We'll save one of those guys. There's Austin Nola, Aaron's brother. There's a Bo Bichette. All right, those are the guys I wanted. And maybe, uh, is Senzella rookie in this? Yeah, Jordan Alvarez. And Jordan Alvarez? Oh, we'll dig that out, sorry. Maybe it was my subconscious Astros bias. Although he, he won Rookie of the Year last year, so it's kind of weird. Or he won something. Yeah, so he did, actually. Oh, yeah. Aristides Aquino. So, so there's a number of some decent decent names that we can kind of keep an eye on throughout the season. I think it's going to be pretty it's gonna be pretty exciting, base, if it happens right. Not going to be happening in California. I think they're going to have to do that one-city deal. 
Florida and Arizona. in Arizona, yeah, because Arizona said go for it, right? Like. So I guess I'll just send a bunch of baseball teams there and see what happens. I mean, that could be same with basketball, right? Couldn't you just restart it in Arizona or Nevada or something yeah, like that? For basketball, they talked about Disney World. Oh. Because I guess there's multiple gyms and stuff. I see. And there's enough hotels and all that. Right. Can't can't like a team just rent out a hotel and just quarantine? Sure has all cameras there. Huh? Right. Can't they just quarantine themselves in a nice hotel? Yeah. They've got a lot of resorts too, like, like with cabins board. and bungalows and stuff like yeah. that. Yankees, did he Gris, uh, Gregorius, if I can spit that out. There you go. That will be for Matthew Shira with the Bronx Bombers. Got that spot straight up. Ended up with the Yankees in this one. Not too bad. There you go, DD. Greg Bird, 299. The famous San Diego chicken, which will be randomized to someone in the break. Because it's not really part of the Padres. There's Michael Brantley. To 10, 7 out of 10, nice. And Brandon Drury to 75. Rated rookie autograph going to Bill. And the Diamondbacks tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. I see Johnny O in the house. He's saying, we all know how this is going to end. They'll just cancel the NBA season and they'll just give the championship to the Bucks since they have the best record. But is that how you really want to win a title, though, Johnny O? Don't you want to beat the big, bad Lakers? All right, so at the randomizer, we're going to give this away to the name on top at the randomizer at the end. The second name, and we'll get the famous San Diego chicken. There's a rated rookie, Corey. Who was talking about how they're... Their wife went to high school with Corey Seager but didn't realize that Corey Seager was a starting shortstop for the for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Someone was saying that earlier today. I thought that was a funny story. There is Acuna Jr. Little box topper for Heritage. Which I will set I guess over here for safekeeping. Alright, now let's rock into some heritage. These are all facsimile autographs, so don't think I'm breezing by this autograph hot box. <laughs> a little candlestick with the swirling winds. Wow, Steve saying then Giannis joins Golden State for Dynasty 2.0. That'd be wild. Johnny O, who's a Bucks fan, saying that I said for a few years that he's going to end up in in Miami. Yeah, I guess if not if not the Bucks, wow, Miami, that could be crazy. Imagine that team. That would be you would have like Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, kind of like a young core. Bam Bam Adebayo, I think, is still there. It was Whiteside who I think went to Portland. And then, um, then obviously you have Jimmy Butler there, so there there's some grit, some veteran presence there. I mean, Pat Riley could add a couple pieces, a couple more pieces around that team to fill it out. Yeah, that could be a pretty crazy team. They would destroy the East. I know it's a baseball break, folks, but since this is a long one, sometimes we'll. we'll drift into some other topics. Will I be able to tell if there's a real auto in here? Will it be in blue? Blue ink, I guess? Or red? Maybe we'll be flipped around. Be 
Oh, there it is. Ah, I can tell. Bobby Bradley. Did I miss an action variation? Uh oh. Do you remember the player, Johnny O? Uh, maybe this Whit Merrifield? Do you remember the codes off the top of your head? Oh, it'll say action on the back. You know what? It doesn't say action on the... Oh, yeah, this year they were really nice about that. Oh, a trout? I guess that's probably worth looking up. I like that they they have they say action on these now. We'll be we'll we'll make sure we look on the backs of these. So they'll so they'll go out. I put the, all the heritage in a separate sort of section. There's the action variation right there, so our team can look on the back and find any others. There we go. I knew it was there. Thanks for the sharp eyes. I'm sure Trevor Hardway thanks you too, because he has the halos. There you go. It's a nice short print. So that's update. Donner's Optic Baseball. Those two thir 2013 select boxes, that's box one. And I'm just gonna stack both 2013 boxes on top of each other. This is Donner's Baseball, 2020 latest edition. And then the two elite boxes from 2015. Elite box one, elite box two. We'll give give Nick the mega boxes, the two Diamond Kings boxes, the leather and lumber box, Bowman's best, Bowman Chrome. And I think I'm good after that because then we just have clearly authentic Inception, the two ultimates, and the autograph baseball. They're awesome. We're in good shape. Thank you to Nick. And let's keep rolling. Slide these. All right. Yeah, there's Trevor right there. Yeah, nice action variation, Trev. Here's old 2015. Oh, I got to kind of keep my eye out for maybe 
some rookies. There's Kenny Vargas, die cut autograph, one out of ten. That's for the Twins. That's going to be for Dustin Colley. That's Anthony Renato. King Felix to 199. He's in a different uniform this year, right? Where did he go? We've got Philly's edition of Pete Rose, and right next to it, Red's edition of Pete Rose. That's messed up. <laughs> Remember, folks, sometimes Pete Rose is Phillies on a checklist. Sometimes he's a red on a checklist. There's Jamison Tyon, members only relic. Can't randomize the Phillies version of Pete Rose between the Phillies and the Reds. That doesn't make sense. Nor will we randomize the Reds edition of Pete Rose. If, for those of you who were around late last night, apparently there was a little bit of drama. Not even drama, it was just one person being not, not smart. All right, Jared Weaver, 34 out of 49. That's Darren, Darren and... And Ryan Harold will never forget. Yeah, sometimes he's both, and then we do have to randomize it. There's the Asmai Tomas for Bill and the Diamondbacks. Oh, that guy's a rookie. I've heard of him. Terrence Gore, 52 out of 99. Elite die cut. Autograph. So that'll be for Kansas City. That'll be for Jason. Right. King Felix is going to be a Brave. That will be a little weird, seeing him in a Braves uniform. Is there still some shine on Chris Bryant? In the hobby? How, how is he doing? I would imagine he's still doing all right, his rookie cards at least. There's Wade Davis to 199. And Salvador Perez for the Royals. Nice autograph for Jason Bruckman. Remember, we're doing both elite boxes at once. I think we might be a tiny bit ahead of schedule by the time all is said and done. Oh. Yasiel Puig, status die cut. Let's protect that. These die cuts are a little weird. To 66, which I think was his number? I'm bad with numbers, like base, like athlete numbers. But that goes to the Dodgers, Jeff Dorlag. And there's Dilson Herrera for the Mets. Zach Harms with that one. Members only. That's Alexi Ramirez. Members only bat. You guys remember uh, members only jackets? Are those still cool? Or maybe they were cool and then not cool and then became cool again? Maybe they're not cool again. There was a minute where where it was cool again. There's a back to back jacks. Bautista and Encarnacion, no randomizer there. Jimmy Branch. Awesome. 
Alex Gordon to 199. And we got Tommy LaStella, status die cut autograph for the Cubbies. Jamie with that one. Wow, look how young Chase Utley looks in his college gear. Since he's retired, this stuff like this, well, I don't think it's going to ship anyway, but for later breaks. Players in their non-pro gear, if they're retired, they'll go to the teams they played for the longest, which would be the Phillies for Chase Utley. And the current team, if they're active. But it just took me aback, because the, the old Silver Fox, no, I think he retired like last year. All right. Kevin Biggio, Bryce Harper, Giancarlo Stanton, nice Bren Lau to 199. Chase Hudley. What? He broke that guy's legs. You mean the guy that got in his way? That's so dirty. The guy that got in his way? He was never like on the Phillies it, and the Dodgers changed that culture. No, he got in, the guy was blocking the bag and he, Chase Hudley just made a hard slide. Yeah, he broke his leg. I mean, I, what a, what a clean play. Man. I, I, rem I remember that 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 bang bang play. I'm just glad the Philadelphia Eagles aren't known for anything like that. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So funny. Why are you laughing? Right. Well, I mean, didn't they throw batteries at Santa Claus? No, snowballs. Snowballs with rocks inside, probably. Yeah, it was a lame Santa Claus. <laughs> it was a lame Santa Claus. It was a fake Santa. I also think Chase Utley has, has had a bit of a history with with that anyway, when he was rivals with the I Mets. Think the, the I don't think the Dodgers... The team culture just changed. The team culture changed Chase Utley. It's like we all those 30 players. Chase Utley and Hanley Ramirez. Paul Aduka. He's a uh, he's big into horse racing. Paul Aduka. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. He was with Action Network for a second. He's with Barstool. Oh, he's with Barstool now. I think Action Network maybe made a mistake going so hard with Darren Ravel. Yeah, he's a loser. Yeah, not a, not a fan of, of the Ravel. Keston here, a rookie. Try to catch as many of those as possible from the bigger names. He tweeted out today, he was like, yeah, sportsbook in New Jersey are down um, in April. It was supposed to be this much, and I was like, well, yeah, do you know why it's not that much? That was a pre-COVID <laughs> pre projection. He, ha he also had some weird stat about, like, how much money his colleges will lose or something like that. Yeah. That everyone had, like, even just, like, basics on Twitter were just like, no, we just looked that up. That's not true. Yeah. And it doesn't affect, then he, yeah. Then he backtracked and all that sort of stuff. There's Garrett Cole. Relic for the Strohs. Strohs? Yeah, Strohs. Kevin Bennick says, You went to the next game at City Field when the Dodgers played the Mets, and a fan next to you had brought a Chase Ali cutout and was letting fans come up and punch it. So violent. Mets fans. Ryan Harrell hates Chase Ali. He should. He's a Mets fan. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could. That that was a hard play. To, in all seriousness, was a hard play to condone. <laughs> if Chase Utley had told me before, if I was on first base and Chase Utley said that's what I was going to do, I would probably be like, maybe you shouldn't have, shouldn't do that, Chase. <laughs> probably not a good idea.
Castanhira. We were chatting about Castanhira a little bit last night. I think we got a nice hit out of NT. Um, he had a he hit like three hundred last year, but he had like a thirty percent. Uh, he had a thirty percent strikeout rate. That's not that's not good. Nicky Lopez of 2019. So he's really got to trim that down. Otherwise, I don't think he's going to be batting 300 for an entire season. If there is one this year. All right, so we're pulling a lot of rookie cards out of here. Which are nice. Nice Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox, Jamie. Nice Vlad Jr. Home Run Derby rookie card. For the Blue Jays, that's Jimmy. Jamie and Jimmy. All those will be top loaded before they go out, of course. And we got a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. Get into this penny sleeve. There we go. Corey with the Padres. Nice. And the Nicky Lopez for the Royals were uh, was out of 2019. Kevin Biggio may even have some upside too. There he is. Oh yeah. How much do you think those like Guy Fieri actually has influence on? Does he just eat a chicken? He eats one chicken strip and goes, "That sounds. That looks good." Or does does he think just puts his name on? Like Colin Cowherd's place, he probably has no influence. But someone like Guy Fieri must, right? Guy Fieri has to. I mean. But I don't like Gaff here because he's never, like, on his show, he's never not like something. Oh, so he's, he's just not controversial? It's like, there had to be something that you ate on your show that you didn't like that made the cut. Maybe that's just not his brand. His brand is just safe. Yeah. This is rookie Austin Riley. Maybe have some upside, too. Started off last season pretty hot. He's gonna love this. I mean, if I had a TV show where I can just drive around and just eat food around the country and get paid for it, I mean, yeah. then I mean. All right, there's Donner Softic Baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Oh, and Eloy Jimenez right off the bat. Red, white, and blue. Wow. A parallel hot box? Is that what we're looking at? To 150. Wow. So let's get paralleled. Here we go. Starling Marte to 50. We got Joe Adele rated prospect autograph for the Halos. Trevor, hard way with that. The Barrios was. And then that, no, the insert horizontal. Oh, this one? Yeah. Peak performers? No. No. But it's still Tatis Jr. Hollow. Trey Mancini, orange. To 99, Orioles. Pink Velocity, Jose Martinez to 199. Miguel Andujar to 60. Mike Colton Evitz, hollow. Rafael Devers to 99. Nelson Cruz to 125. Pink Velocity, Mike Fulton Nevitz to 199. And Corbin Burns, rated rookie autograph. It's your second auto. That will be for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Darren Redding, who won that spot in an update break. Jesus Aguilar, red, white, and blue to 150. Sorry, Jesus. 
Michael Perez, hollow. Mitch Hanniger, we the people to 76. Get it? I get it. Kesson Hira, 39 out of 60. Sean Newcomb, hollow. Harrison Bader to 125. Let's put it back here. There we go. For Amber Valdez to 125. Edwin Encarnacion, Encarnacion to 150. Max Muncy to 150. Luis Ortiz to 150. Matt Chapman, Diamond Kings card. Colby Allard to 125. Justice Sheffield, the rookies. Corey Kluber to 99. Tatis Jr., rated rookie card. Hollow Brandon Crawford. Blue Kevin Kramer to 75. Elo Jimenez, the rookies. And Luis Urias, which I thought they should have held on to Luis Urias. Let him marinate a little more for the uh, Friars. All right, so a couple nice prospects there too. The Fernando Tatis and the Eloy Jimenez. Let's move on to 2013 Select. And you can see on the Nick Cam above my head, plenty more boxes to go. So we're almost there. We're getting there, folks. Ryan was saying earlier, hope Trey is going to get better. Yeah, he's battling or battled, battling colon cancer? Is that what Trey Mancini? I think uh, or had some, some malignant tumor removed or something scary like that. So yeah, hopefully he's on the mend. Brian Morris, rookie auto for the Pirates. That's going to be for Kevin with Pittsburgh. Wow, stage three? I didn't realize it was that serious. Keep going here. And we've got a David Freeze. Cardinals. Pretty solid player here. That goes to Angelo and the Redbirds. 17 out of 25. These are all 2013 select. There's Tim. Remember how good Tim Lincecum was? There's Robert Carson uh, to 25, 5 out of 25 for the Mets. And a ex sure to be expired redemption, which will go to uh, which will go to that particular person's team. It's Gene Segura. In 2013, Gene Segura must have been a Seattle Mariner. So on the checklist, he'll be a Mariner in 2013. A Brewer in 2013. Was he a Brewer in 20? Why do, I do not remember the, the Gene Segura history very well. He was came up with the Angels? I didn't even know he was on the Angels. But then made his debut, oh, debut with the Angels in July. After playing only one game for the Angels, he was traded to the Brewers, along with John Halweg and Ariel Pena for Zach Granke. 
He was part of the Granky deal. Then he spent a few years there, then went to the Diamondbacks for a year, then went up to the Mariners. I think in that, we talked about, we actually talked about this last night, in the Kettle Marte deal, and spent a couple seasons in, now he's with Philadelphia. Wow, what a... All right, so that goes to Milwaukee. I know it's expired, Darren Redding, but you probably get some points out of Panini for this. And a free top loader from us. And he, he made the All-Star team twice, once with the Brewers in 2013, and then later on with the Mariners in 2018. So he was an All-Star, and then he kind of was not good and bounced around, and then became an All-Star again? All right, there you go. There's, there's your Gene Segura info. There he is in his Brewers gear. JJ hmm. Hardy, Chris Johnson, and again, Gene Segura and Fuego. And there's an Adam Eaton rookie autograph. Adam Eaton was on the Diamondbacks, Bill? Bill with the Diamondbacks, man. I always thought he was a White Sox before he went to the Nationals out of 500. There you go. Rookie Adam Eaton. Oh, I think injuries has really held him back. But great when healthy. That's why I like ripping these old boxes because you're just like, Preston, Preston Claiborne? <laughs> I don't remember Preston Claiborne at all. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Matthew Shearer. To 500. Alex Wood as a rookie with his crazy funky delivery. I don't know how he hasn't gotten more elbow surgeries because of that, but somehow he makes it work. And there's Zio Zoilo Almonte. I almost read that as Zion. I thought it was like, oh, Zion Williamson. It's also for the Yankees. That's going to go to Matthew Shearer. That's to 500. Yeah, at one point, they had Eaton, Blackout saying, at one point, they had... Adam Eaton, AJ Pollock, Young, Chris Young maybe, and Justin Upton, and with N NCR take on. They didn't like that outfield. They're like, forget it. And there's a Corey Kluber rookie autograph. Wow, that's Ryan Harold was trying to trade the tribe. Two twenty one out of seven fifty. Big number, but still rookie Corey Kluber. Is he, is he on a new team? I felt like all these deals were made like a million years ago and then without the baseball season starting, like it hasn't locked into my head yet. Did he go to Texas? Or am I thinking of someone else? There's everyone's favorite Chase Otley, Philadelphia edition. And we've got Michael Morse for the Orioles. Yes, he is a Ranger, says Ryan Harold. Yeah. Kind of odd seeing him in a Rangers uniform. Wait, new ballpark was supposed to open for Texas this year, no? And so that's kind of rough times. Although Texas is kind of pseudo open, right? Pandemic related. I think there's kind of open, opening, open. You just have to wait for MLB to start. There's Marco Gonzalez to 30. 
So then they have. Then what's another? St- Raiders Raider Stadium may have in Vegas may have no fans. SoFi open, open supposed to open this fall. They might not have any fans for the Chargers Rams games. Hesitant. There's Kettle Marte, Diamond. What a great season he had last year. What, what, what year is this? What year are we looking at here? This is, oh, this is current, 2020. All right. Let's kind of think about the rookies here. Acuna Jr. to 9.99. Polar Bear. What in the world is Is there a fire? Uh, someone doesn't block their Amber Alert. Oh. oh my god, Amber Alert, green Honda Civic, 6GX, X720. If you see that in Calif- with California plates, make sure, uh, make sure you contact your local authorities. Yeah, there you go. The CHP alert if you're in California. Darren Redding, are you on it? Are you out there? On the streets of LA or the streets of Southern California? I don't even know where this is. Um, let's see if we can do a public service for this break. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. Are you going to load on my phone? There it is. There, there's your Amber Alert as of a few minutes ago. That's the car. Those are the plates. Ah, oh, look at this guy taking. What a, what a D. What a D. All right, back to back to the break. Ryan Reynolds. We'll sleeve all those numbered cards just in the interest of time. I'm kind of breezing, breezing through those. And we got a kind of a thicker card here, Giancarlo Stanton to 99. That will go to the Yankees, Yankees edition for Matthew Shearer. There he is, Aquino autograph. Nice. That is strong. That'll go to the Red Legs. Chance on the board. Nice first hit for the Reds. It's probably only veteran commons that don't ship, Trev. I can't imagine everything shipping in this break. So, like, that won't ship. That won't. That won't. That will. It's numbered. That will. It's a parallel. Right, that will because it's a rated rookie. That will because it's a different parallel or and a rookie. That will not. That will not. That will. There's fire emojis on the border. This will. That's an insert. Rated rookie insert. So Kevin Mitchell will ship. That's something a little different. This one's a little complicated just because there's so many different <laughs> things going on here. Kevin Mitchell? Is this Mets edition of Kevin Mitchell? And 
And Edwin Rios, Dodgers. Nice. The boys in blue, Jeff Dorlak. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Curtis saying, no, this is a baseball break, Curtis. You won't find any kid reporters here. Christian Pash. I don't think we've, unless I missed it. I mean, we will ship those rookie. It's kind of a shame. To 314, bit of a ding there on Kyle Hendricks, but still. I don't know, significant, not significant enough to, I guess that insert set, Zach Gallen. I might be able to contact Panini for a replacement card, but I don't know if it'd be worth it for something like that. But you can try. Uh, Justin Verlander keeping it 100 out of 100. There's an Aquino right here. That Aquino autograph before was pretty nice. Curtis, we're watching your favorite show with your favorite host. Your, your favorite Food Network host. All right, let's slide some more boxes over from the Nick area here. Over to this area, what do we got? We've got some more Donner's baseball. We've got Diamond Kings, two boxes worth. We have some Lumber Kings. Got some Bowman Chrome. Bowman's best. And I forget what, what this is. Maybe. Oh, well, this must be a mega box. One of these are. That might be a mega box, too. All right. Nothing else here. Nothing else there. And so we're going to do these boxes in front of us right here, and then the, the, the kind of the one-card boxes, and then we'll close with the autographed baseball. Then we'll give away that Wander Franco. And the second name will get a consolation prize, the San Diego chicken card, which doesn't go to any team. All right. Good luck. There's Logan Webb. 250. We got Peter Alonzo and Joe Adele. I like these Mojo refractors here. Oh, yeah, we got an Air CD's Aquino autograph. Some other big hits. Rockin'. I actually like that Marco Luciano is supposed to be a big prospect for the Yankees, too. Yeah, there was the Kluber rookie auto. We still have a lot of break to go. A lot of those rookie cards from the from Series One and Update, which I'm sure will go for a lot. This must be the mega box here. Let's do the other mega box right there too. Shoei Otani, Showtime. I like those parallels. There's Adalberto Mondesi, Manny Machado. They're not numbered though. They will ship inserts. Carlos Correa. This is 2019, by the way. So I definitely need to get this chocolate sauce going. So I just take my cream, pour it 
Ooh. This guy's making brownies on this show. I want brownies. Ooh, I like bourbon. Let's get some bourbon up in this. We got a Gary Sanchez autograph. It's not bad. Yankees. Matthew Shira. With the Bronx Bombers. I think they, whatever that fireworks pattern in the background is, I really dig that. It looks pretty sharp. is an ice cream machine. I feel like all these shows are rocking the ice cream machine. I'm just like, I kind of want to get an ice cream machine. We got Corey's brother, Kyle Seeger to 199. Rex is in the house. You saw, yeah, that update Mike Trout. Not graded, sell for eleven hundred bucks. Yeah, those aren't too bad. And there's Kyle's brother Corey right there too. So these with the, well, that's a frame that'll ship. But the ovals, I think, are the variations, if I'm not mistaken. And I think the ones that are rectangles right there are just the are the normal versions. And they usually have them flipped around too, so there's, or that's a frame. Giancarlo Stanton to 25. Dual relic. This is Miami edition. Going to Joel. Bakeaway camp? Martha Stewart, what will she do? What will she do next? It's a frame. That's a variation. Artist proof to 25. Mookie Betts. Kills Rex that he just he sold his update trout uh, from 2011 for 66 bucks a few years ago. Well, trust me, people people don't want to don't want to watch uh, any of our 2013 14 prison basketball breaks. I don't know how many people. Sold their Giannis Silvers for like ten bucks. I'm telling you, it'll it'll be it would be a lot. All right, that was one Diamond Kings box. There's a second one right there. Artist proof, Andy Pettit to 99. Mike Trout. Jose Altuve frame, gray frame. Those are not numbered. Madison Bumgarner. Slide that blank right there. There we go. Chad Pinder, dual relic, an autograph to two ninety-nine. 
Alex Reyes for the Cardinals. Luke Appling for the Chicago White Sox. Clayton Kershaw, dual relic to 15. 7 out of 15. Nice. Jeff Dorlak tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And last spot Mojo with the Dodgers. Andrew Benintendi, Leonard Mendez, Daniel Murphy, Altuve. Carlos, red frame. Didi Gregorius, frame. Don Larson, perfect game. Albert and Max Carey. All right. Getting there, folks. We're almost done, actually. All right, leather and lumber. We did a f some boxes of this yesterday. There's AJ Pollock, gold proof, and there is legendary lumber. That's Tony Lazeri, sixty out of one ninety nine. That's pretty cool. And that's for Matthew Shear and the Yankees. Another one for the Yankees, forty eight out of seventy five. Give peace a chance, Adams. That's all we're saying. I think everything ends up shipping in this leather and lumber stuff, folks, just because they're all these fun inserts and whatnot. Roy Campanella right there. And a really thick card here, flashing the leather, Jim Rice. 173 out of 199. That's pretty cool. Red Sox, Will Christian and the Red Sox. Nice. Got Garrett Hampson, 55 out of 99. Lumber signatures. That'll be for the Rocks, Travis Donahue. And we got Big Bats, Vlad Guerrero Jr. A little slice of his lumber there to 199 for Jimmy Brandt and the Blue Jays. And Steven Gonsalves for the Twins. 7 out of 75, Minnesota, Dustin. And another Jim Rice flashing the leather to 199. You got a, you got a little bit of a you got a little bit of a knot hole right there for the glove. A little eyelet for the leather strings. Sean Reed Foley. Rookie leather signatures for the Blue Jays, Jimmy Brandt. I love the flavor of the Novik cheesecake. That filling, the orange in there is exceptionally good. And the little... War, what is it good for? Fried again, pork rinds is the very best piece of the pork rinds that we have seen. All right, let's do chrome first, and then we'll do the best. And then we'll start working into these... Other boxes. There's Corbin Burns to 150. There he is again. Both those cards will ship. Ooh, 
Ooh, is that a red right there? What? There's Nick Green. Green parallel to 99. The autograph is out of 499. That's uh, Ryan Feltner. For the Rocks, that'll be for Travis Deep. Myself a little space right here. We'll do a recap at the end as well. All right, and we've got one out of ten. Looks like Red Shimmer, Khalil Lee. That's a great one for Jason Bruckman, who got randomized the Royals in our 23 box Grand Slam mixer. And Blaine Knight, Orioles autograph for Edwin. All right, we got Francisco Morales, Purple Shimmer, Chris Bryant, and Clayton Kershaw. And there's Bowman's best, the Tyler Glass now rookie year, which is 2017. And David Peterson for the Mets leads us off. That'll be for Zach Harms. Sonoda 150. And Jake Berger. White Sox. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he. Big prospect for the White Sox. But then, like, he did his ACL or something, or an ankle or Achilles, that knocked him out of a lot of the 2019 season. And now the interrupted 2020 20 season or something like that. I think he was working his way up the ranks. If I'm, if I'm thinking of the same guy. And Lourdes Guriel Jr. Yuli's brother. That goes to Jimmy Brandt and the Blue Jays. And we got the atomic mirror image. We'll do left right randomizers on that to account for these ones too. We'll go left right by the back of the card, right side up. It's th this I think is a, either one per box or maybe even a case hit. And Tanner Hawk is the auto for Will Christian and the Red Sox. Anthony Rizzo Atomic, Alex Fajardo, 250, and Marlins Ichiro. All right, this is it right here. What you see on your screen, that's it. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this uh, 2018 Inception going. Nice, Justin. Good luck. Jason will take care of you on that. 
on the Instagram stream, and he's live right now. He might be even looking for you right now to break that box. Good luck. Unless you didn't buy it from us. <laughs> All right. Jose Ramirez. Behind him is Miguel Gomez. To 299, three color patch and autograph. All right, thank you, Justin. Uh, in, in all seriousness, thank you. And ship sealed, okay. If you end up opening it, let us know how you do. So, Giants, little Oppo Joe Mojo, James Beadle with the Gigantes. Let's do Ultimate Baseball. So these gentlemen are in their non-pro uniforms, so they'll go to the team they're currently on. I don't think, I don't think there's a checklist for this. Is there a checklist for that? I don't know if Group Break Checklist did the work for that. Stand by. Let's see if groupbreakchecklist.com has an official checklist for this. They've got a checklist for Leaf Flash, Leaf Metal, Leaf Ultimate. Makes it easy for me. And it looks like they updated it in early February. So there it is. That's the checklist we're going to go by. All these should be, I think they're still. Shouldn't be too many moves with the players here. Ivan Johnson, at least with the big name players. Ivan Johnson to 25. I guess I should help out the shipping team here. Ivan Johnson is a red on that checklist. That'll be for Chance. We're on to Cincinnati. We've got Tyler Callahan. I don't know where he goes off the top of my head. Tyler, if I can spell Tyler correctly, is also a red, Cincinnati Reds. All right, so another one for Chance. So Chance, we're just hoping that these two players become big deals real soon. We got Isaiah Campbell. Future Stars autograph to 25. Isaiah Campbell is a Mariner. That'll be for Jamie in Seattle. We've got Matt Cantorino. That's, I want to say that's a Met. It's a twin. Dang it. Minnesota, an M team. Dustin Colley. I just didn't get it. All right, there's Matt. Maybe a couple more here. We've got Quinn Priester. Royals. Pirates. Pittsburgh. That'll go to Kevin M. With the Pirates, he won that spot in an exception break. And we've got J.J. Blade, who is a Marlin to 25. I know that one. That goes to Joel. Let's make let's double check and make sure. Yeah, he's a Marlin. Goes to Miami. Once again, that's Joel, who also won that spot. All right. Good luck. 
We've got Andrew Dahlquist. Don't know where Dahlquist goes. I don't even have a guess. White Sox. We've got Sam Huff, who sounds like a ranger to me. Yes, Texas Rangers. Nice. Is he really? Oliver saying Dahlquist is from Redondo Beach. Are we all we're Dahlquist fans now, you guys? Did he go to Redondo Union? He did. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm rooting for, for I'm rooting for Dahlquist. We got Josh Mears. Feels like a royal padre. We have Ethan Hearn. I was going to say Royals, but I'll bet I'm thinking of Ryan O'Hearn. Ethan Hearn is a Cub. That will be for Mark, Mark B. You got Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is a Ranger. Wow, Dahlquist got a seven-figure signing bonus out of the fourth round. Good for him. And Corbin Carroll, Diamondbacks. Right? Yes, Diamondbacks. Bill. All right, and and go Andrew Dahlquist. All right, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Just three three things away, and then a randomizer for that wander. Pow! We got Jesus Aguilar for the Brew Crew. You see the acetate look, which I think is pretty sharp. And that will be for Darren Redding. And we'll do a little Who Am I with this box right here, America's Favorite Game. For bragging rights, put your thinking caps on. Peter Alonzo, nice. Four out of ten on that one. Woo! That's rookie Pete Alonzo out of 2019, clearly authentic. Purple Parallel, that's a great one for the Metropolitan. Zachary Harms. All right, who am I? I'll give you the clues. You make some guesses for bragging rights, and if you win, if you guess correctly, then be sure to call all your friends and be like, you know what, I won Who Am I on Jaspies earlier tonight. What did you do today? That's right, nothing. All right, so this will go to the team that they are currently on, if active, because there's no checklist for this, and the team they played for the longest if they are retired. Try so usually will give me a little card right here. All right. Let's go to the Google for a little additional information. This is a... Uh, this is a feisty character, ladies and gentlemen, who is a player and manager. He managed the team he played for after his playing days were over. He managed the team he played for and then, I think, won a World Series with them. Did he win two World Series?
Why does it say he? Oh, maybe he was an assistant coach on that. But he was the head coach for one World Series that he that he did win. Who did he? Oh, he was with the Marlins for the 03 World Series. He was on Jack McKeon's staff. In 03. As a player, hit 264, 28 home runs, 619 runs batted in. As a manager, 747 wins. With a 513 winning percentage. Will he get... Is he going to get a, another job? He was a little controversial as a manager. Oh, he joined ESPN Deportes in two, 2013, where he has worked as a baseball color analyst and talk show panelist. He is currently a studio analyst for NBC Sports Chicago. I should give it away. Before and after White Sox games. There you go. I think Sean's got it now. So does DFS. Yeah, Ozzy Gian. I didn't realize he was on that 03 staff. There you go. Three-time All-Star selection, two-time World Series champ. One, one as an assistant bench coach, I think, for the Marlins in 03. And then once as the head coach, the manager, in 05. I think, how many years was that drought? 88-year drought, I think. Breaking that 88-year drought for the Chicago White Sox. 85 AL Rookie of the Year and, of course, Manager of the Year in that World Series winning season. There you go, and inscribing NL Rookie of the Year. And he definitely spent the bulk of his career with the Chicago White Sox. So, so there's Ozzie Guillen's info right there. There's the TriStar sticker right there. Any, any other information for us? No, that's it. That's good. There are all the authentications there. There you go. And the Chicago White Sox, that's Jamie. There you go. DFS, call your friends now. Tell them that you just won a round of Who Am I on Jaspies. And then when they're like, what? Who cares? You'll be like, I don't know. What did you win today? Huh? See? See what your friends say then. All right. Let's do some randomizing. I got to do a left-right randomizer here. I got a San Diego chicken, all sorts of stuff here. All right. So let's grab everybody's names here. So everyone has a shot at the uh, at the Wander Franco. But first, let's do. And I think there were some other cards in the set that had left-right randomizer. So this will this will this will take care of that. All right, one dice roll for both lists. Good luck. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five. And 11 the final time. Side on top, the right side. So the Joe Adele side will get those left-right cards. This one will go to the Angels. Trevor with that one. All right, now for the big moment right here, the Wander Franco giveaway. Probably the number one prospect in all of baseball at the moment, right? Going into this season anyway. I think still maybe a couple years away from the majors, though. All right, let's flip back here. So that was 11 times. Here's 11 again. Everyone has a shot at this. After 11, good luck to the name on top. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11th and final time. Name on top after 11. And thanks everyone for joining this mixer. And uh, thanks for helping make this happen. Uh, Dom, you, you get the San Diego chicken card. And the name on top? Jeff Dorlack. Last spot mojo. In fact, think about this. If he traded teams, he would have been out of that Dodgers spot that he had and be on a different part of the list and would have not have won that Wander Franco. Tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. There you go. 
graded a 9, 5, 10, 2019, Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto, Speckle Refractor, Wander Franco, centering corners a 9, 5, edges and surface a 10, and his autograph a 10. And that's number 279 out of 299. That is strong. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A very nice break and a great way to close it out. Let's actually do a recap on this video as well. Got a lot to clear away. But let's go from the most recent card we pulled all the way back to the very first card we pulled. So there was the Ozzie Guillen baseball, the Wander Franco that we gave away, the nice Pete Alonzo out of Clearly Authentic. Right there. There you go. That's why Bill wanted the, uh, well, the last spot mojo was in a different spot too. Your spot wouldn't have been last spot mojo. See, there's all these different layers on when you buy spots, ladies and gentlemen. Nice Gary Sanchez. There was an there was an Aquino autograph. There it is. There's the Aquino autograph. We had a Corey Kluber rookie auto. This was a pretty solid break. David Freeze in the mix. There's Joe Adele. Pete Alonzo rookies. Vlad rookies. Some nice stuff from out of out of this elite, this old 2015 elite. Trout action variation. And we'll go through all those heritage cards again and make sure we catch any other variations that we may have missed. Dee Dee, Ricky Henderson. This was did I did I go through these already? I think I did. Should we just look at them again? There you go. No, I did go through these already. So there you go. Pretty great break. Thank you very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.